The new Clear Spring Middle School in Steinbeck is starting to take shape. I had the opportunity to take a tour with Principal Designate Ed Newfelt and Hanover Trustee Ron Falk. Right here we're on Main Street and then over here is our town square and up there is the grandstand which we're going to be using for uh, student gatherings, we maybe even community gatherings, we don't exactly know how it's all going to develop but the idea is for the grandstand to be a place of gathering and then uh, we're going to do town square and in the town square is where we're also going to be doing a lot of our learning celebrations. It's going to be grand fun. And one thing that doesn't show Chris right now is uh, this um, uh, blue tarp here kind of prevents the view but the view actually goes right through the center of the school right out the back window to and an outdoor learning environment yeah. that's going to be really really nice when it's completed. And then just over here just past the town square is our multi-purpose room and then the gym is on the other side. The um, multi-purpose room is going to have two retractable walls so we can create a room here or we can create an, a space exactly as you see it for different events. So it's a uh, pretty amazing space. And so from this multi-purpose here there's also access into the, the band choral room here, the music room. So this is uh, the music room, band and choral. So most of the flooring is covered right now, at least the walkway is here, but mm -hmm. you, uh, both bottom wings uh, are different colors. So you have one color, uh, one predominant color here, another predominant color over there, and then the same thing on the upper floor. And so as we walk through here, you'll see this particular shading of, of green, kind of the predominant color on this side here. And it's also the wall feature color in the classrooms. Right. And this is for the grade fives. So this is where grade fives are going to be. All the doors in the facility have, have this kind of a, I'll say a bamboo look to it. Yeah. Is the lighting, like the lighting hangs down the As wall well as all the millwork, uh, the cabinetry right here as well. So this is the science lab in here. Lots of millwork in here. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, lots of conversations with the teachers about making good use of this and they're, uh, wow. I, I'm just, just about finished the timetable and, and setting it up so that teachers can book chunks of time okay. for their kids so that when they're doing experiments they can come in for two periods and really make an experiment work for them. So that that's, was one of the, the goals in the timetable is to make sure there were chunks available so they could book it and come on in. This is what it's going to look like at the end so that students can follow the heat supply, hot water, you can just kind of, they can trace where everything's coming from. It's part of the school as a learning tool. But it seems to me that somebody's paying attention to what makes people healthy, which is uh, getting some, getting natural light. It just, uh, it, it makes it, makes a person's time in a building much more pleasant if you have some natural light. And uh, I mean, because it's a, a, it's a school built to lead standards, human, human comfort is a part of lead standards. So I think it all fits into that. And students have been asking me, are they going to get single lockers or are they going to have to share? And I didn't know the answer. So here we are. For everybody who is asking me, we've learned the answer. <laughs> there it is. It's a single locker. So now we know. Every classroom has a sink. It's all part of, I mean, we've talked to the kids about this and even talked to the parents about it, that we hope that the kids are going to get dirty doing their work, their schoolwork. I mean, we're, we're trying to get to the point where we understand that education isn't just clean, clean, clean. It's sometimes dirty. And if you can clean up afterward, good. And we can do that. And that's the, the, the school is really built that way too. So it's, uh, it's really, uh, really going to promote hands-on learning, project learning, stuff that's not necessarily perfectly clean. This is the air exchanger. It's massive. Huge pipes to move the Looks to like move a, the air. Looks like a jet engine. Yeah. Yeah, I've wondered if you were standing on the outside there when it's pulling air and what might happen. <laughs> what, we're, what, what's, what we're planning is to have planters in along the right-hand side over here. And on the left-hand side are gonna be, is going to be some uh, fairly cool seating area. And then further out, you can see the berms out there. Um, we've got some trees in, coming for that and uh, some uh, limestone seating. And this whole area that, that's kind of dirt right now is going to be uh, crushed rock and pavement mixed together. And there's also going to be a bit of a, like a river course. So that when we do uh, want to show kids, you know, how do, how do riv rivers run, we can turn on some water and it's going to demonstrate how the water run, runs down, toward, down on a river. 
So it's really a, it's going to be quite an amazing place. Lots of greenery and a, a place to spend time learning, but also a place where the kids can spend time on their, you know, at their lunch hour. It's just a, it'll, be, it'll draw them in. This is the art room. You can see there's a lot of millwork around the outside for storing supplies, and it looks to me as if there'll be plenty of space for storing projects as well. Um, there's a really big piece of millwork here, and then there's a display case in here so that students can display their, their art for people walking by. I think the biggest aha for me was actually standing on the second floor and looking out over Town Square right after they put in the, the big celestial windows. That set of windows and the, the, the brightness of that area, that was a huge aha moment for me. To stand there and see that kind of light and the, the way that that building has been designed to be good to humans is a wonderful moment for me. I think the attention to space is actually going to help kids um, with just with building strong relationships with each other. Because often if you're too crowded, you, you can't can't get away from one another. It's the main for computer lab. And the library. This is the uh, mechanical room the kids can see from the library. And not just any mechanical room. That's a it's a pretty impressive mechanical room. Wow. This is a boys' washroom here, Chris. This is, the, the washrooms, again, are very uh, lead gold, energy efficient, uh, waterless uh, urinals, uh, sinks that are all hand activated, and dual flush toilets. Partitions are coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the school has learning tools so that students can, can take a look at this and see how the insulation is all put together and how brick is held together. And yeah, just a little cross section so that it's all part of school as a learning tool. Reporting for Steinbach Online, I'm Chris T. Tart.